have you got today? We're gonna test and see if you got stamina. You got stamina, give me a hoorah! Hoorah! If you got guts, give me a hoorah! Hoorah! You ready for a challenge? Hoorah! Hoorah! If you got mental grit, give me a loud hoorah! Hoorah! Oh, mother, I'm excited for you. This is what you've been waiting for all year long. What you have been preparing for. And now it's time. You look at that butter to your left, to your right behind it.
Does everybody have their timing chip? Please check for your timing chip. If you don't have a timing chip, now's the time to go get one. Wait till after this, go stop by the timing tent and get it, and you'll have to start in the next lap. I'm sorry, but if you don't have it on now, it's too late. Keep that on and keep looking for it. You must stay within the pit and the mark course for the full 24 hours. You must wear a bib and timing chip at all times. If you realize you don't have your bib on or your timing chip, it's your responsibility to flag down a race official either in a red shirt, blue shirt, or black shirt. I'm going to get out of here without me feeling you, without me coming in the middle and touching each and every one of you. So right now, buddy, I'm coming in the middle. I want to feel you and I want to hear you. Now let's give them, their families, and yourselves a three hoorah salute. Hoorah! 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 Can you guys see my hand here? Yeah! You know what we do now. Take a knee for me real quick, guys. Take a knee. This is your time. This is your time. Once again, on behalf of TMHQ, all of the Tough Mudder staff, even our staff that doesn't get out here to see how magnificent you guys are, and believe me, 99.9% .9 of them do. We want to thank you guys for what has been a tremendous year. In my opinion, and I'm sure in theirs, the best year we have had. Like I said to a lot of you last night, you are a big part of that, of this success, of us growing like we have. We listen to you. That whole Legionnaires program, that came from you. And with your response and telling us what, we, what you want more of, what we're doing right, how we can do more for you, we've got it to this level, y'all. We're global now. Global. I think we started off in New Zealand this year. That's amazing. That is amazing from what Will first thought this was going to be. I'm telling y'all, you have been absolutely awesome. A lot of you that have been in here, you've heard me say it to you over and over again. You're the ones. You're the inspirers. You're the motivators, not me. I'm the mirror man. I'm that guy that holds this mirror up here, and I show it right back at you. And what you see is what all these people that are around you see. Someone that's magnificent, brilliant, inspiring. You don't even know you do that. You know, you, you, you just being the best that you can be, you inspire all these people that came out here today to support you. You inspire other people that are close to you, that love you, that aren't here today, but they're thinking about you. You also contribute to that energy, that energy that has helped so many people that are going through battles and challenges. You know I've talked about them all year long, y'all. We got people battling cancer. I wear the patch. This is the one I got from Cassie Harris. She's actually here today, too. Cassie Harris, young redhead right there, y'all. You've heard me talk about her all the time. That's an amazing woman that have overcome a lot, like a lot of people, because of what you do. And you don't even know you do that. Because of what you do, we have people that are battling obesity, and they can get past that. 
diabetes. They got, they know they're not alone. PTSD, you're there for them. They feel you. And it's all by you just being your best. When I see you guys exercised out here on these courses all year long, I've seen you doing your community. You've reached your own goals, you've made those achievements, but then you turned around and you gave somebody else a hand. That's huge, man. That's huge. Don't just let that go by. And look where you're at today. Look where it's brought to you. Everything you have ever done in your life has brought you to this moment right here. If you have ever failed at anything, today that's wiped clean. Today that's a tool. Because you know what it's like, what it feels like to fail. You know what it's like to disappoint yourself. So you'll see that yellow flag when you're out there today and you're hurting or you're thinking you don't got anything left. And you say, I ain't going there again. And you'll finish. And when I say finish, I talk about finish at the finish line. In my opinion, if you finished at the finish line, Nah, you didn't finish, man. You make it to the finish line. I want you to feel your finish when you're out there someplace. That's how you do this correct. When you got no more left, when you are aching, when every inch of you, your body is screaming, let your soul take over. Let your heart take over. Because that's what you guys got in here more than anybody else I know, all of you. Y'all got heart, man. There is not an athlete in the world that has more heart than you got. And you show that with your best. Your best. Look what you guys get to do today. You've heard me tell the stories all year long about our fallen brothers and sisters. Our fallen brothers and sisters that were also mothers. You heard me tell the story about Ken, who I was going to see when we went into uh, Ohio. I was going to run with him with that sheriff's team, 40 years old. But he passed away a month before that. He was just exercising, came back, had a heart attack in front of his family. See, you don't have tomorrow guaranteed, but look where you're at today. That's what you guys, I want you to feel. I want you to feel that. You've heard me tell the story about Craig and his quote, another amazing mother, an amazing mother. I got to visit in the hospital before we went into Virginia. Craig had his hit man on. He was battling cancer since 2001. He passed away two days later. And like I always tell you guys when I tell you these stories, I don't tell you this to make you feel sad. I tell you this to appreciate who you are and what you do. Because that's what kept Craig going. That's what made him so amazing. That man lived his life. You've heard me say this before. When he got diagnosed in 2001, he started living by a quote. That quote is, when is the last time you did something for the first time? When is the last time you did something for the first time? Yeah. Now, I know some of y'all have done a world toughest mutter before. But today, for the first time, you are going to take yourselves to the limit that you have never been before. You're going to take yourselves to that place that is in you that says, don't stop that says more, that says this body is holding me back. I want you to burn your soul right through that body. You finish that lap. Knock out another one just for the hell of it. First time your limit today. First time your limit today. It is about your best. All year long, I know this is the competition right here. But even in competition, you honor your competitor with your best. That's going to make him better and you better. Your best, y'all. Come on now. That's where everything great starts from the best. Everything great. Every achievement man has ever made in this world is from someone's best. That's in here today. Because you connect to that today. I know a lot of you came here and it was a big accomplishment just to be here in World Toughest Mother. Nah, you don't stop there. Because then you're cheating yourself. There's more of you in there than just to get here. There's more of you in here than just to show up and put in a lap. Today you will cheat yourself if you don't find your best. 
Today you will cheat that competitor if you don't find your best. Today you will cheat all these people here that are seeing you today if you don't find your best. Your best! Your best, y'all! That's what this is about! You bring it today! And you know that no matter where you end up, what place you come in, how many laps you put in, no one is better than your best. But your best will make you better. And that's going to make us all better. You give me that, and I promise you, you will be a world toughest butter at the end of today. Are you ready? Focus on what you're going to do today. Think about your accomplishment today. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. 